All right, uh, we're going to identify with this video caging a brake. Uh, at this point, something's gone wrong, you've got an air leak or something like that. Um, the first thing I want to do is point out this is the air can itself. All right. Um, we're going to uh, we're going to cage this so that you can release your brakes and move your truck to the side of the road or whatever purpose we need to do with it. Um, the tools that are needed, you're going to need a vice grip and a three quarter inch wrench. All right. Aaron's going to show you where the caging tool is located and how to cage the brake. Go ahead, Aaron. Okay, the caging tools are usually it's on the bolt, it's on the side of the uh, brake can. I'll have to remove it. I'm going to cheat with the saw. There's the, the caging tool. And then pop out the end of the can, insert the T part. And there's a lock in there, it'll grab it too. So Lock it in, put on the washer, and then the nut. And we'll run it down and tighten it up until it releases the brake. Okay, so if you've got an air leak, if, we, if we're uh, caging this brake because there's an air leak, the air is always going to come from the hose that is closest to where you just put the tool in to cage the brake. So it'll be this hose right here. Um, there are situations where on a trailer, this could be flipped around. It's always going to be the hose that's closest to the tool. And all you'll need is a pair of ice grips. Pinch the hose off just like that. And that should, that should stop the air leak. The brake should be released so we can get it to a repair facility.